park and a cemetery have in common? Well, outstanding art, of course. I'm Shelly Benthal, inviting you to join me now for another walking tour of Greenville, South Carolina, as we take a closer look at Greenville's art in public places. Come on. Park, home of the Greenville Zoo, and a place where people can come to exercise, play, compete, or just enjoy the natural beauty. Scattered throughout this 126 acre park, visitors will find works of art that were designed to stimulate and enrich the mind. The rock quarry garden of Cleveland Park sits a young girl, Monel, reading a book to her dog, Perky. Scripted on Monel's book is Dogs See the Beauty in People as People See the Beauty in Roses. This memorial portrait is of Monel Stedman Riley, who passed away at age 77. Her daughter, Kathy Santa Ronald, commissioned Kevin Brady to create the art piece and gave it to the city of Greenville. Next up is a multifaceted sculpture painted bright red and yellow. It's called Julie Valentine. This piece of art is actually a memorial to an infant girl who was abandoned and deceased in a field on Valentine's Day. The piece serves as a place to reflect on the value of all South Carolina children. Bob Doster, the artist who designed and created this piece, is a native of Lancaster, South Carolina. is the City of Greenville's dog park located here at Cleveland Park. And a favorite of our four-legged friends is this piece of artwork titled High Four. It's a bronze, life-size sculpture of a Great Dane created by internationally accomplished sculptor Louise Peterson. Peterson is herself an animal lover and owner of two Great Danes. has become a favorite photo op spot for visitors of Cleveland Park. You know, art in public places has been around really since the Romans and the Greeks, if you think about it. So municipal spaces have always been enhanced by having art that's available to everybody, not just the elite or the collectors or the aesthetes of a community. So in Greenville, we have, we've always recognized that 
public art has an important place in our community. And really as early as the 1980s, there has been some form of a public art committee. Uh, we decided to formalize that a few years ago and we now have officially, as part one of our city commissions, an Art and Public Places Commission. And they have really uh, taken their mission seriously and done a fabulous job of helping us be more strategic in planning public art throughout the city. Of course, most of it has been focused downtown, but we're beginning to bring it into the neighborhoods and uh, have more options as to what's available. Nestled in the heart of downtown Greenville, Springwood Cemetery and the Confederate Memorial provide historical artwork dedicated to honoring and remembering some of Greenville's most influential residents. Let's go take a look. Here at the Springwood Cemetery, we find the oldest sculpture in Greenville, the Confederate Memorial. It was initially erected in 1892 where College Street meets Main, but was moved around 1925 to the cemetery. The model for the memorial was Greenville Police Chief James Ligon, who fought in more than 20 Civil War battles. Sculptor C.F. Colrus used photos of Chief Ligon, who posed in his Confederate uniform 20 years later to create the memorial. Our final stop on today's walking tour is one of the most famous plots here in Greenville, the Hellman Plot here in Springwood Cemetery. George Heldman was a saddle maker who eventually became the wealthiest man and largest landowner in the county. 
In 1889, controversy erupted when his daughter Fanny drowned herself in the Reedy River rather than marry her father's business partner. Many years after the death of the Heldmans, the city of Greenville was given the deed to the Heldman plot. For now, I'm Shelly Benthal and I hope you can join me again soon for another walking tour of Greenville as we take a closer look at Greenville's art in public places. Canine Quarter is the city, I said quarter. Canine Quarter is the city of Greenville's dog park. <laughs> that's how it comes out, corner. It sounded like quarter, that's I know. Corner, 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 canine corner. Okay. <laughs> In eighteen eighty nine, controversy erupted when his daughter Franny sorry. Next up is a multifaceted scho How about that scholarship. <laughs> Here in the Rock Quarry Garden of Cleveland Park sits a young girl named Monell reading a... I was about to say reading a doctor book. <laughs> Bob Dosh... Sorry. Bob Dosters... <laughs> can't say his last name, is Doster. High 4 has become a favorite photo op of visitors to Cleveland Park. <laughs> 